in the last video we have learned about the extrude command and uh, now i'm going to teach you about the revolve command and uh, i will make the same geometry here also so i will go to file and from here start over and it will ask you are you sure you want to clear the model and start over so say yes and you can display the the x5 plane or other planes with uh, this command and uh, after that I will create one line and or maybe multiple lines and revolve them around the axis. So I have to, if I want to have the length of cylinder along the Z axis, so I must choose the either Z axis plane or the Y Z plane. And also you can go with the X axis uh, with the length. So in that case, the length will be along the X axis. So it's your choice. So anyhow, I will choose the Y Z plane or maybe Z X plane and then click on the locate. And this this axis, which is horizontal axis, is the Z axis, and vertical axis is the X axis. And from a sketching mode, click on the line and make one line which is at some distance from the Z axis. And make sure that the we have the symbol H is displayed besides the line. And then set dimensions for this line. The first one is the horizontal, so choose the X axis. And the one point here, and if you're not able to select the point, then just move the geometry slightly on the one side in this way, and then select the point here. And now you can place the dimension over the line. And again, click on look at the this uh, plane. So this will orient the plane, this X Z plane in the screen. And now second thing is that I will decide about the radius. So I will choose the vertical dimension and choose line and the axis. And uh, now for the horizontal dimension, I will make the length of cylinder as a five as we did in the previous case. And then the diameter is a, is a one. So the radius will be equal to 0.5. So put the value 0.5 here. And just move dimensions near to the geometry in this way. And also the second dimension. In this way. Okay, so after drawing the line at the some radius location from the axis, and uh, the common thing the student will try to attempt is that he will try to revolve this line around the axis. So let me do it also and choose the axis, Z axis around which the line will revolve and apply. And now click on generate. So as you can see here that after making the this uh, revolve com command uh, uh, for this uh, line, I have just uh, one surface and uh, the inlet surface and the outer surface they are missing and also we, we don't have any solid here. So it means that this will not work. And uh, the workaround for this thing that the, you, you don't want to move backward to the sketching mode so you can also work around here and uh, go to the concept and uh, create the surfaces from edges. So choose these two edges. So you can choose the multiple edges and uh, the surface will be created when it will get the some close edges uh, at some region. So although we are selecting the edges combinedly, but the surface will be, will be made separately for these two edges, which are separated by the some distance apply and click on generate so now we have the three surfaces three surface bodies and uh, now i can make the solid body the solid body by the create and uh, body operations and c operation so the c operation is to combine the multiple bodies they they can be the surface bodies they can be the volume body the solid body so uh, the main function is to combine them so you can select all the bodies and apply and also we have the one option that you, do you want to create solids? So by default it's a no, so, but we don't, we, we, we want to create the solid here. So that's why I will make it yes and click on generate. Now you can see we have single body and it's a solid body. And also we have the volume there. But the question arises if we want to create the, this uh, cylinder from the sketching. So what should be done? So I will again go back to sketching mode and choose a line from here and choose the one point on the one end of line on the left side let's say 
and the p symbol should be there which is indication that we have picked the one point and same goes for the point on the origin and then on the other side and on the axis because we don't don't have any point here so the o symbol will be there when it will intersect the some line or maybe some axis and secondly it should have the symbol v which is the the letter for the vertical so right now line is vertical now and now again i will try to revolve and choose the axis here and generate so although we have single body here single surface body which is enclosed from all sides but still it's a surface body because it don't have any volume here so it doesn't have the any volume so only surface area is there it means that we don't have the the volume body or solid body here so again you can go back and create body operations and again use the same C operation but this time only one body because we have the all bodies combined and create solid yes and generate so again the same question is there if you want to create the this uh, solid body from the one single roll command then what should be done so again go back to the look at command and uh, sketching mode and now we enclose this whole sketch into a rectangle so this rectangle will revolve around the axis this will make the perfect solid for the circular cylinder so again i will use the revolve command apply and the axis is around the z axis and apply and generate so now we have solid body here so in this way i have gone through the different options different things a student can attempt to do different mistakes and how to correct them and what is the best and simplest possible approach to make the solid body with the revolve command